when you want to start to install your door, you want to remove the stock door. Remove the three bolts on your cage, two on the cage and the one on the bottom. So get those out. And you should be able to just take the stock door right off. It should slide right off of there. And when you install your new door, you're going to use the same bolt area as your as your stock door. It's got the the, the B pillar and underneath as well. So what you want to do is when you put it on, you want to set the latch in the front so it kind of helps you hold it on so you can do it by yourself. Put your bolts in and get it all reset. Make sure it's nice and the door's level in the front and get your, your B pillar set first, get it nice and tight. And tighten the bottom bolt after that. Those three bolts and your door's on. Now once your door is on, you're going to have your latch actually has some movement in it so you can make the door, the latch fit nice and snug against the, the stock striker plate. So all you do is loosen these three, these two bolts and you have some adjustment to make it nice and snug and kind of set it right, right where it feels nice and snug on the door when you open and close it. And once you have it where you like it, go ahead and just retighten your, your two nuts on the bottom. Now as your door is on, you're ready to put on your skin. So what you want to do is put your skin on, put the bolts in, obviously all of them in loose to start before you are ready to tighten them all on. Now when I tighten the, the bolts for the skin, I like to start with start in the back and work my way to the front so you don't cause any problems with the with the aluminum buckling. So you just start kind of work your work your way around evenly and work it out to the front. Now your skin's on, the door is now complete.